Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jose here with Captain Hook Tree Climbing. I'm gonna do an introduction video here to a 10 part series uh, to SRT tree climbing. And I'm doing it because SRT tree climbing is something that is so broad, so vast, something that really just, you can take so many different paths to doing different things. Uh, there, there are many time consuming methods, uh, but methods that make sense to certain people uh to different individuals right and then there's also quicker methods which uh, they might shun and others might praise and love and and all those kinds of things right so there there's a whole bunch of schools of thought in the srt realm and i kind of just want to narrow things down and kind of just show you from my perspective what i prefer to do this is all backed up by 12 years total experience in tree climbing uh, my last two years in tree climbing have been with SRT and you know all that the whole learning curve and everything that goes along with it. I know it's tough I know it's grueling hang in there guys it, it's uh it's just a, it's a journey really you can find yourself just constantly looking video after video trying to figure out exactly what it is that is gonna make you a better SRT climber what's gonna make you more efficient during all of that and i know it's i know it's tough so anyway i'm gonna just build a little road map for us here real quick first off we're gonna go right into rope setting so what are you gonna do to set your rope are you gonna throw your rope up there with your hand you're gonna take a hank of rope and just launch it are you gonna use a throw bag and manually do it or you can also use a slingshot and these Three methods, they're, they're all effective and they all have their place. So that's something that uh, is very important to SRT climbing. I mean, you can't even climb if you can't get your rope up there, right? Next is gonna be base anchors and canopy anchors. I'm gonna show you guys how to choose between them and then just the different variations that are gonna come about. And I'm gonna show you how those two different anchors are gonna give you different options versus others. So that's... Uh, very important, just even more in detail there for you guys and kind of just showing you what, what you can do, um, kind of help you guys open up your horizons and all that, right? All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna go into is choosing your ascension method. So basically, what are you gonna use to ascend the rope? Are you gonna use a multi-sender? Are you gonna use ascenders paired with that uh, multi-sender? Uh, what, what exactly are you gonna put on the rope to help you get into the tree? And I'm gonna show you guys my streamlined method. It's definitely a more advanced method to get up into the tree, but I think it's uh, the most effective, the quickest way to do it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go into that. After that, we're gonna start talking about uh, moving your time point. So basically advancing your time point and how to do it. How to do it based on whether you have a base anchor or you have a canopy anchor. So we're gonna go into that into some detail. It's not going to be extensive but it's also not going to be like short or anything i'm going to give you guys some really good information i'm going to try my best at least the next thing we're going to have to start talking about is reaching your final time point is going to be the end of that initial ascension right so from setting your rope to getting to that final time point that's all one whole process right and it involves a lot it involves a lot of decision making but once we get there now things uh, get a little bit more interesting, right? Now we can start talking about redirects, um, just and also moving around the tree, the canopy, in general, just very general discussion about that, and then moving into the redirects. So the redirects are gonna consist of natural crotch redirects, and then using a false crotch method with a sling for redirect, right? So those two methods are very common methods and they work all over the tree. And then I think another redirect method following that is gonna be repelling into a natural crotch redirect. Um, this is a more advanced uh, type of redirect method in rock climbing. It's actually a very basic technique. It's something that uh, all rock climbers use to repel off of that initial cliff, the corner there. That's what I'm gonna show you up in the tree. In the tree, Obviously, it's a more dynamic uh, kind of a situation. The branches, they're moving. All these different things have to be taken into account. 
So you gotta be on your P's and Q's here, right? And from there, we're gonna go into just uh, moving around the tree in terms of swinging. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips, some tricks, a few techniques to help you swing better, to help you just move around the tree in general. Uh, these things are gonna just culminate up until the last video. And that is where I'm gonna share with you guys what I think is the absolute most important uh, thing in tree climbing. Until then guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Remember to hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all the videos that are gonna be coming out soon uh, over the course of the next few weeks. I'm gonna be doing at least one video per week, if not two. So uh, until then guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, y'all, I wish y'all the best. Stay healthy and climb safe. Peace.